us. Thank you so much, Wes. Really appreciate that. I'm so excited to be here with you today to share with you about our partnership with Google and the joint innovation that we've been working on to deliver an intelligent customer experience. You see, what you've heard from everybody on stage today has been an example of how customer expectations are changing. We want to self-serve as much as possible. We want personalized interactions when we do business with the companies that we get served by. And we want to make sure that we've got a better customer experience across that full interaction. So Mitel's been working with Google to inject AI into the conversation so that we can help you deliver on those experiences for your businesses and for your customers. You see, it starts with a more intelligent chatbot, the way that we can use natural language understanding to take a customer's request, look to a knowledge base for information that you already have in your business, and then intelligently respond with natural language back to that customer. This improves self-service. Now, when we need to go to a live agent, we want to make sure the context of the conversation is preserved. We want to make sure that the live agent doesn't have to re-ask the same questions of that customer. And then we keep the artificial intelligence in the conversation to coach that agent as they're helping the customer. This makes them more accurate, more responsive, and gives them more confidence in that interaction, which equates to better customer experience at the end. So we wanted to take a look at how does this opportunity present a potential for us to improve your business with us, increase the customer experience that you have when you call our corporate sales engineering team. You see, today, we get 12 to 15,000 interactions with our partners and Mitel employees asking questions about Mitel's products and services. And so we took a look at the 200,000 interaction records that we had, voice call recordings and chat logs. We ran them through the Google AI Analytics tools to understand why you contact us and then figure out ways that we could improve that experience and improve our products. And what you see on the board here is a result of some of those trending topics that we've received out of those call records. In this case, we have a call recording release. We identified that there was a software upgrade process that needed some additional uh, support when it came to making sure that path was smooth for customers that already had the solution. We were able to put that fix in place by taking a look at those trending topics and make sure that we improved your customer experience from a delivery standpoint and the customer's upgrade process was much smoother. So you see the trending topics move as we take a look at those voice interactions and how we could improve our business and make that a better process. What I'd like to do now is have Tim Kefford walk us through how we took this information, the results of the analytics, and implemented that into an interaction that we're going to bring to you in 2019 on how you can improve the interactions with the customer experience on corporate sales engineering. Tim? Thanks, Josh. Good morning, everyone. So what you can see behind me is the, the dialog flow. This is the tool, the Google tool that we use to manage and provision, configure the, the bot. And I'm going to pick out two, two things from this. The first is, as Josh said, we analyzed all the data and picked out the, the reasons why people were contacting us. And they map to something called intents in this tool. If we drill down into one of, one of these intents, which would, be, which would be roadmap release information, we can see that what Google enables us to do is with their natural language understanding, instead of having to come up with every single way that someone might ask the same question, for sure, the way me as a Brit would ask a question is different than the way Josh is gonna ask the same question. We're gonna phrase it differently. We don't have to handle that. Google takes care of that for us, so it recognizes with the natural understanding what the customer wants. So we just give it a handful of training phrases to do that. The second would be, once we've identified what the customer wants to do, how do we answer that question? And that's in, in, uh, in knowledge here, in connectors. Excuse me. So we have knowledge bases. We can import knowledge bases, which is existing data that you, you guys have to provide the answers. So that could be HTTP, FAQs, it could be PDFs, it could be documentation. But this is an easy way to, to provision your bot and to uh, give the answers that people are looking for. Thank you, Tim. So Tim showed us how Taking something that was very complex previously, creating a chatbot that had to have a complex IVR tree to understand how we get customers to interactions and responses, this makes it much more simple. We use natural language understanding. We point it to the knowledge that you already have in your businesses today, whether in HTML pages, PDF documents, or text documents. We can ingest that and then respond back naturally. So without further ado, I'd like to bring up 
Luann, and Ryan to walk us through how that experience actually looks when we have a partner contacting corporate sales engineering and then a corporate sales engineering contact center expert assisting in that interaction. Luann's going to our website and she's gonna start a chat interaction with corporate sales engineering. She wants to find out some more information about all this Google AI stuff. What you're gonna see is as we interact with bots, we wanna make sure that we use responsible AI. We wanna make sure that bots always state that that's who you're talking to and not try and misrepresent that you're speaking to a human unnaturally. Maya, the MyTel chatbot, has greeted Luann. In this case, Luann has asked about the Google AI features. And by looking at the knowledge base, it's responded with, we have AI analytics, virtual agent, and agent assist technology available. So I'm gonna continue to ask questions. Someone asked, is the virtual agent actually available in chat? Typical interaction, right, back and forth. And of course, at this point, from the knowledge base, we're pulling more responses. Maya's taking care of that interaction in a virtual uh, agent. I'd like to know, when is it gonna be released? Now at this point, Luann's asked a question that wouldn't be publicly available. It's roadmap information. So we're gonna bring in Ryan, the corporate sales engineering contact center expert, to help Luann with this question. And I've just received a notification that Maya is communicating with a customer that uh, she doesn't know the answer to. So I'm gonna look into that. And what I see is the conversation. I get to see the customer journey as it's taken place to this point. And so I can see that Luann has, uh, has talked to Maya about Google AI features, and she's asked a question about the release. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Luann know that uh, I'm here. go. Very nice. So great, this is all good. So I'd also like to know when can I sell this? Can I sell it uh, today? And if not, when? Okay, so I could answer this question directly, but I'm also given some auto suggestions as to how I might be able to respond. And if you can imagine, this is a question that we've been asked a lot. So it's part of our Mitel Google FAQ. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that over to her with the answer of Q1 2019. Excellent, let's have a hand for uh, Luann and Ryan and Tim. <laughs> so what you saw was how simple it was to set up an interaction using AI analytics to make a better customer experience with an intelligent bot that understands natural language. Then we saw the ability to service customers in a much more intelligent self-serve way, and the way that we can coach agents and provide them with more accurate answers so they can be more efficient. Now, Ryan and Maya both let us know that we're bringing chat with Google AI to the market in the first quarter of 2019. And you'll see speech follow as well, because Google doesn't only give us the ability to take a look at text, we can actually take real voice interactions, analyze those in real time, and then deliver intelligent responses, both to customers and to coach agents. And of course, with the power of CloudLink, we're bringing this across the portfolio, from our contact centers that are in the cloud and those that are on site. When we started this journey with Google, we really focused in on three key things. We wanted to make sure that we could take and transform the contact center from just being a com uh, customer experience engine to turning into a business analytics engine. You see, because we can run analytics on the conversations that you're having with your customers, it helps you to understand how to improve your business and provide better customer experience. We also wanted to make sure that we could deliver on that customer expectation of better self-service. And by putting a more intelligent bot that has natural language understanding, we're able to deliver on that promise. And from an agent perspective, we wanna make sure that they're empowered to be more successful and make sure that they're giving more accurate and timely responses to customers. All the way end to end, making a better business experience and a better customer experience. 